Okay, so it's not the perfect place, but it's better than when I started. So as you can see, it's a decent sized room, longer than it is wide. And my vision for it is to basically set it up into like three parts. I'm not even sure what's going on with these lights up here, but um, this back area is going to be like my office space. This middle area is going to be like a flex seat in. I have a couch that I'm going to bring in. Um, this is going to be more where group instruction takes place. Um, I eventually want to get a television mounted um, up there or, or maybe on this wall. Um, on this wall, I'm not going to be hanging lots of educational posters and so forth. Um, but I think I am going to get a floating shelf and I'm going to hang up some of our pictures from past years of different events. So as you can see, I have a lot to do, um, a lot. And this is not even the half of it. I have stuff in storage, lots of stuff, and I threw lots of stuff away. I didn't realize how much stuff teachers really do collect, right? no matter who you are and no matter how minimalist you're trying to be, because I promise I've been thought I was a minimalist. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead on and get started with going through some of this stuff on this table and just kind of planning and mapping out where I am going to find storage areas or how to create storage areas. I definitely have a, a filing cabinet that I eventually want to bring in. So, yeah. and just kind of share something with you guys. As I was going through some of the boxes, I came across like a picture of me when like my first to second year of teaching, like, oh my goodness, so much nostalgia <laughs> took place in, in that moment. And I just stopped and I reflected on the career path of that young girl. Like I never set out to start my own school. I never set out to make videos and inspire and other teachers to do the same. And like, I'm in such a complicated place, like with my emotions about running my school, um, starting over in a new city, um, all of it. Because, you know, I wouldn't give anything um, for the experience of starting this school back in 2014 and running it. Like when I tell you some of my most impactful, no, all of my most impactful work has occurred in Triumph and the lives that has been changed, like the trajectory of people's family have been changed. And it has been an amazing journey not an easy one, not an easy one. And that's, that's sometime where the, I guess the emotions come because it's like, is this worth it? Is this worth it? And I have to tell you this, if you are an educator who are interested in starting your own school, or you may be in the process of starting it, and I'm, you, I don't have to tell you all the ups and downs, right? You know, but what I will say, it is worth it. It is worth it. And it is worth you also learning the business side, really doing the work around money and really valuing yourself. Most of us showed up in a place like this, our micro schools or where have you, learning pods, co-ops, 
because we realize how much we weren't valued. Take it from me, who's somebody who did this in 2014 wholeheartedly. I recognize that I wasn't valued. However, I also, if I'm honest with myself, I have not really put the right amount of value on what I have brought to the families that I've been working for all of these years. And it's time for that to stop. And as much of this I love doing and I am called to, I have to show up differently in a different space. Oh, micro school, huh? What not? So anyway, she's coming, but it, it looks like we're going to have a good look group of kids to start with. And it scares me. It scares me because... <sighs> I keep saying like how I want to show up, right? I don't want to be the end all be all. And for those of you who are starting out like, and who read like my how to start a school article, um, you know, I tell you guys all the time, it can't be just you because you will burn yourself out. Even though um, it was, well, I can't say that. I was always fortunate to have help. Um, and you need, you do, you need help. But I also am starting this with a totally different mindset. Like, I'm, I want to phase out of the classroom and be more administrative and help other teachers start programs like this. And when I say phase out of the classroom, now I really want my cake and eat it too. <laughs> I just don't want to be the one at the end of the day responsible for every day, but I definitely still want to work with the kids. But anyway, thank you for listening. Don't go away. You got to see the end. You got to see how the room has turned out. So here it is. So I absolutely love how everything turned out. Um, we did change up a little bit. I started with the flex seating area with the couch up front because it made the entering the room look so much nicer. I actually got this from Walmart from for $160. I think that was well spent. Um, it really makes that area look nice. And right here, you can see the television is on the floor, but we are gonna have it belted on that wall. And I'm loving my tall table. I really love that. And here are my floating shelves. I think that turned out well as well. Got a little arcade in here for the kiddos. It can't compete with the Nintendos and PS5s, but they play it sometimes during break. Yeah, so I'm super proud. I think it turned out really well. Hey guys, thanks for supporting my channel. Be sure to interact by leaving a comment or pressing like so that it can be shown to more people. All right, until next time, bye.